Hi, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and in this section we're going to continue talking about fractions and specifically we're going to talk about how to convert between mixed fractions and improper fractions. Don't forget that they basically describe the same thing, it's just that uh, you know when you have a mixed fraction maybe you have two and a half pizzas. Well you have so many whole number of pizzas plus some fractional part. An improper fraction is describing the same thing. We talked about that uh, in the last section. We talked about that when you have you know three halves of something, you have three pieces, but you only cut your pizza into two pieces. So that must mean that you grabbed all of that pizza plus part of another pizza. So you have more than one pizza when you have an improper fraction, basically. So how do you convert them? Uh, let's say you have the mixed fraction, two and two thirds and you want to convert that to improper. The easiest way to teach you how to do this stuff is to do it completely by examples. So what you do is you, uh, you take the bottom number, multiply it by the number in front, so 2 times 3 is 6, and then you add to it the numerator, which is 2, and then for the denominator you keep the same one, which is 3. So 6 plus 2 is 8, thirds. This is the fraction. That's the improper fraction. That's absolutely equivalent to this. If I take a pizza and divide it into three pieces and try to take eight pizzas, then I must be taking more than one whole pizza. And that's what this is telling me. I've taken two whole pizzas plus two thirds of another one. These two fractions are exactly the same. Some teachers, you know, they don't like you to keep it in terms of improper fractions. So you need to learn how to convert back and forth. So that's what we're doing. All right. What if we have three and a third? pizzas. How do you convert that? Well, you always start at the bottom. 3 times 3 is 9, plus the 1 from here, over, you keep the bottom number. Don't do anything to the bottom number. So what you get is 10 thirds. And that's the answer. Uh, what if you have negative 4 and 2 fifths? How do you convert that? Negative 4 and 2 fifths. What you do is you go ahead and keep your negative sign out front because this is just a fraction that happens to be negative. And then you work with the numbers by themselves. 5 times 4 is 20 plus the 2 from here. And then for the bottom, you just keep the 5. 2 plus 20 is 22. And don't forget it's a, it's a negative. So you have a negative sign on here over 5. So negative 22 over 5. That's the answer. So when you have a negative out there, just let it hang out there by itself. Let's say you have 7 and 3 fourths. Start at the bottom. 7 times 4 is 28, plus the top, which is 3, divided by the bottom, which is 4. 28 plus 3 is 31 over 4. And that's the improper fraction. That's equivalent. What if you have 5 and 7 thirds? 5 and 7 thirds. Same exact process. This is not going to change. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 7 divided by 3. Uh, 15 plus 7 is 22 divided by 3. And that's the improper fraction. That's totally equivalent to that fraction. What if you have negative 10 and 2 thirds? Well, you have a negative sign here, so just leave it out front and then work with the numbers. 10 times 3 is 30 plus the 2 from here divided by the 3 from down here. So you'll have negative 32 over 3. Negative 32 over 3. And that is the fraction that's completely equivalent to this guy right here. So we've learned how to take a mixed fraction and convert it into an improper fraction. A lot of times you'll be asked,